I'm 2PZ, the developer behind the Seamless Co-op Mod Manager for Elden Ring and Dark Souls 3. If you've ever wanted to make playing co-op with friends easier and more fun, this tool is exactly what you're looking for. In this video, I'll walk you through how it all works, from setting it up to getting the most out of its features. And don't worry, it's super straightforward. Now, just so you know, everything I'm about to show you works the same for both Elden Ring and Dark Souls 3. So, whichever one you're playing, you're good. Alright, let's kick things off with Elden Ring. First up, you'll want to grab the tool from the link in the video description. That'll take you to the Nexus Mods page. There are instructions there too, in case you ever need a quick refresher. Once it's downloaded, just extract it wherever you want. Could be your desktop, a tools folder, whatever works for you. Then just run the seamless co-op manager.exe and you're in. At this point, it starts to feel real, like okay, we're actually setting this up the right way now. Now here's where things get really smooth. Automatic setup with Mod Engine 2. Inside the tool, head over to the Help menu, then click on Elden Ring Seamless Co-op and Mod Engine 2 Auto Setup. The tool will ask you to point it to your Elden Ring game folder. That's wherever your Elden Ring.exe is located. After that, you'll create a password. Make it something unique, but make sure it matches your friend's password too. That's how you'll be able to connect to each other in game. Once that's set, you're ready to launch. Just click Launch Elden Ring Seamless Co-op from the main tab and boom, the game starts up with everything already in place. And man, when it all boots up without a hitch, that's a good feeling. Now let's dig into what this tool can actually do. In the Seamless Co-op Settings tab, you can customize how the mod behaves. Change anything you like, but just keep in mind, you'll need to restart the game for changes to take effect. Then we've got the current game tab. This one shows you live info about your co-op session, who's connected, what builds they're running, their stats, the whole deal. It's a great way, way to keep tabs on everything going on in your world. You can even save and load different builds from here. So if you like testing different setups or just want to back up your favorite characters, you're covered. Now let's talk save backups because let's be real, we've all had that one crash or overwrite uh, that almost made us quit the game. In the Save Backup tab, you can manually back up your saves or just, just let the tool do it for you automatically. You can rename backups, pin them, and stay totally organized. It's one click for peace of mind. If you're into build testing or want to save progress from old characters, you'll love the Character Manager. You can transfer characters between saves, archive old runs, or even directly edit your stats. It's super powerful, but still really easy to use. Now a few things in general settings that are worth turning on. First, make sure auto update is enabled. That way, you'll always be on the latest version of the tool and the seamless co-op mod without needing to check manually. Then head to the Steam section. Set the path to your Steam executable. Most of the time, the Auto Detect button works, but if not, you can paste the path in manually. I also recommend enabling the Run Steam silently in the background option. It's required for Seamless Co-op to work properly anyway, and this keeps everything nice and clean. And don't forget to select your Steam ID. That's what lets Save Backup and the Character Manager work correctly. Now, if you're running any DLL mods, there's a section for that too. In the Mod Engine tab, you can enable or disable mods easily. To install a new one, just drop the file into the mod folder. That's it. No messy setup or digging through files, just drag and drop. Looking for smoother gameplay? There's also an option to unlock your FPS cap. Head to the FPS Unlock section, but make sure the game isn't running first. Pick your target FPS, click Patch Elden Ring.exe, and the tool will create a patched version while keeping the original backed up. But heads up, if you ever plan to go back online on official servers, you'll want to restore that original file first. Playing online with the patch version can get you banned, and yeah, nobody wants that. For backups, you've got two options. There's Fixed Interval, which backs up your save every few minutes, and Game Event Monitor, 
which creates backups at key moments, like when you warp, beat a boss, or quit to the main menu. You can also control how many backups the tool keeps so it doesn't pile up too many. Before I wrap up, a couple quick things to keep in mind. Always use only English characters in your folder names, whether it's for the game, the tool, or Steam itself. Also, never use this tool on official servers. Like I said earlier, it'll get you banned. Just don't do it. And if you want to use the build creation feature, make sure to download the items folder from the Nexus Mods page, it's under optional files, and drop that into the tools directory. And that's it. You're all set. Whether you're dive, diving into the lands between or exploring Lothric with your crew, this tool's here to make co-op smoother, safer, and just more fun all around. If you found this helpful, feel free to drop a comment or ask questions. I read everything. And if you want to stay updated or chat with the community, hop into our Discord server. We'd love to have you there. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the adventure out there.